Okay, this is information you need, all one word reporting, and I'm up here at the Lakewood Town Center um, in Lakewood, Washington, and I'm just going to drive you through and kind of let you see the businesses and where I actually um, used to work. And I just wanted to point out to you, like, all these places over here are owned by mainly um, non-minorities. Um, it's pretty prevalent here in Washington State. Segregation um, hasn't ended very much. Okay. So all these businesses along here, I just wanted to give you a little tour, are owned by... Um, you could probably check the business uh, licenses and you could look them up and I'm probably sure that maybe 90 something percent businesses within the Lakewood um, Mall Shopping Center are owned and operated by mainly whites um, and this is in the year of the 21st century and so it's kind of a shame that I have to do this report. This is kind of like my Martin Luther King follow-up report. And um, so I'm going to drive you over here. This is where actually I used to work um, at the Lakewood Community Service Office. And I was the administrative assistant to the administrator at the Lakewood CSO and we were at the 19th Street location and um, they were going to shut it down because we used to be a call center and then what happened was here they are right here um, this is it but we used to be like the um, region 5 call center and then what they did was they um, got rid of it and they downsized on the call center and then they wanted to get rid of all the positions but we fought and we got this place opened up and we started it from ground up um, I ordered all the furniture and did a lot of hard work and coordinating the staff moves only to be later fired for putting um, trying to Fight for justice, basically. This is it. This is my old office where they ended up and they bounced me out of here. Okay, so I helped this place get started up and did a lot of the coordination. This is act this place right here is the Lakewood um City Hall where my boss's husband worked. And um, my boss was Vicki Nelson, and her husband worked in here. And then I guess that's how she got that spot next door to us. Um, I mean, to her husband where he worked. She got, I guess it was some kind of deal. She worked and got the land and for the state, and then they started building that construction site from the blueprints on up and here it is right here this is it the DSHS office that fired me and I was supposed to be sent out to this office and be in this new facility but I was rejected and denied and um, unlawfully terminated for fighting for justice and because I took time off from work for being sick and I had surgery from when I had domestic violence and I got my um, nose beat in, my face beat in and I had deviated symptoms and I had trouble breathing and um, I couldn't, you know, so I went to get surgery and thought everything, you know, it was finally okay and I was in the safe uh, zone where I could, you know, get some treatment for my domestic violence um, abuse and when as soon as I went in there she's hired a temp named Terry 
Jackson and she um, took over my job and all of my job duties basically and um, that's how they do you at the state and uh, my mom was in the hospital dying um, at Madigan Military Hospital and I told her everything that was going on and she acted like oh yeah I care so much and she could care less okay she was um just out to get me and get her the person she gave my position to was her next door neighbor and best friend named Terry Jackson and um, they live out there in the boondocks in Ording or somewhere and you know where the, all the rich white people live and they're living in these big mansions practically and she stole my job and um, she gave it to her best friend and neighbor Terry Jackson Vicki Nelson and so I lost my job and um, she gained my job and she didn't I guess she didn't even have no kids to support or anything she was already rich and divorced her husband and um, later I had a, one of the temps um, come and tell me she caught him and also that's a whole nother story I don't even want to get into it's so disgusting what's going on but that's the place I just wanted to show you and then there over here is the the barn Barnes and Noble and the AMC movie theater of course it's all owned by whites all this place is strictly white um, ownership okay Burlington Coal Factory we got the famous footwear dressing barn let's see I mean, we could just go all through here, and I could just show you all of these places. And uh, we could check the business licenses, and you can see it's a, a monopoly um, of segregation. This is all just for white people. This is all businesses for whites. There's not even a place right now if I wanted to go to, and I didn't feel comfortable. Um, maybe I wasn't treated right at maybe these places. I, I don't even have an option here in the state to have um, a minority grocery store. Um, not even allowed in here any minority businesses. Um, there might be one, but I don't know of one. So I mean, if you could, if you know when you could please certainly leave a comment, and I'll be happy to approve it. If you have a, you know, something you know about, but let me tell you. And I also used to work right in here. I want to show you one more place. I used to work at the Ram Ram Restaurant. Okay, let me just turn it here real quick and show you. I used to come in here. I did a temp job, and they sent me on assignment here to work in the HR department. And I used to pull in here in the mornings and park. And this is the corporate office right here that I used to go inside and work at. And it looks pretty dead right now. I don't see any cars. I don't know how many people are still working here. But this is where I used to come in. And I used—I think I used to be like over on this side. But this was the ram that I used to work at right inside this building. There were some kind of good looking guys who owned the restaurant. Um, and then over here is the restaurant. And they used to bring food over to us. And we used to test it and uh, sample it and stuff. Look at there's some cooks out there. Um, they even have a brother cook too. Um, but yeah, this is it. This is where. This is, this is it where I used to work, you know, I can't really remember, like, if they even offered me, like, a permanent job, I don't really know, I don't think so, but I know I didn't want to work there, and I didn't like the high turnover rate, and I remember the servers didn't get paid very good money at all, and I used to see a lot of dirt in the HR department, so... You know, when you work in HR, you see a lot of dirt. And so I, I got out of there. But I gained a lot of information, insider information, if you know what I mean, on how to run restaurants and how, you know, so I got to see him work in the uh, office.
And they own shenanigans too. So this information you reporting all over. 